Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about some terminologies or term you will hear while you're learning and your work. These are important for you. So I'll talk about AEM instance, environments or run mode and dispatcher. So you will hear a lot these three words. So AEM instance is your running AEM software. So if you're running, if your software means AEM is running on your, on your machine so that you will call like you have a running AEM instance. If you have running two softwares, AEM softwares, okay, then you will say you have two running AEM instances. Basically, when you install AEM, that is a instance for you. Environments and run mode. Your AEM instance can be identified either a type of instance or the environment. Basically, it's a run mode. I'll talk about this. Third one is dispatcher. So your AEM instance is functionally provide you some you know the content functionality but between the end user and AEM generally we set a web server but web server does not know AEM so we put a tiny module inside web server so that web server know how to interact with AEM okay so that tiny module is called dispatcher so whenever you want to check something on your web server generally apache or iis we call dispatcher but dispatcher is a tiny module that sit in your web server we'll talk about this later we already have a detailed series over dispatcher you can go back and check once you start your dispatcher learning okay so as i said your aem instance can be identified by two type type of instance and your environment or run mode type of instance is can be two type only whether it's author or publish right your instance can be two type only two type author or publish author is the type of instance where you create content publish or publisher is instance which serve the content to end user if end user hit your site comes to your site that content is served from the publish instance right so it can be two type author or publish environment or run mode right you have already heard about like environment, environment kinds of uh, dev, QA, stage, prod, whatever environment you are have. So your AEM instance can be identified by environment. But in AEM, this is called run mode. You set run mode and based on run mode, your AEM instance can be identified. Okay. So it can be a combination as well. Your AEM instance can be identified using this type of instance and run mode if you set both so it check maximum right so there's some configurations can be identified based on this run modes okay based on this environments so basically why these type of means how do you want to categorize these environments so if you want to change the behavior of your execution of your code based on your environment based on your type of instance that you can do using these run modes you can have some configuration which actually identify on which instance those configuration should be loaded i have already you know have tutorial for that so i'll give a link so once you you know the basic you can jump on those tutorials so how exactly at a high level content works means how it works how you create content how end user access that that is just a high level and i'm not considering web server here so as I said, you at least have two instances, right? On your local, you can just have one for your learning, but at least a complete environment at least should have two instances. One is author, and this is the instance where you create content, right? You create pages, you upload assets or whatever, means authoring part, but you create obviously the content and assets. But end user, end user never access this instance. So we have one more instance called publish instance and all end user access this instance okay so this instance having the content which is final and which is for end user so you create content on the author but you but end user access content from publish so after creating content you move that content from author to publish and then term is called replication or publish earlier before 6.0 version we used to call it replication but nowadays we used to call it publish so you'll find a button called publish okay but it's the same thing if you if you 
finds somewhere like replicate or replication that's the same thing as publish so you publish content from author to publish and now once the content reached here publish the content is ready to serve this was just a high level we'll see that in detail we'll see that is happening with demos i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you